So a few years ago, I made it my year challenge to read more art books. I like art, I rec do rec art rec recreation, I do read about it a bit, but my Goodreads shelf only had two or three art books, and by the end of that year, over 30, so it was a successful challenge. One of the books from that year was Girl in Hyacinth Blue by Susan Vreeland. It's a very pretty book. It had a huge number of very enthusiastic reviews and recommendations for it. And it's got this cute thing. See? Isn't that cute? That's fun, isn't it? I thought it was a good book. I thought it was well written. I thought it was quite well researched. It was a set of stories revolving around the central theme of the painting. Now, if my rating on Goodreads held less enthusiasm and even the ecstasy that some of the reviewers had for it, it's because it wasn't what I was expected. Before I acquired it, I thought it was going to be a novel, and it's not. That's an insufficiency in me, not in the book, right? But I wanted a novel, and this is a sheer series of short stories. I don't read short stories very often. They're short. I find them annoying. So that rather put me off. The stories aren't interconnected. If you've got a series of short stories and there's some character that leads from one to the other, you can kind of do that in a way sometimes. But it's, this doesn't, and it's not a novel. So this short story collection starts with the present, not the present present, 1990s probably when this was written, and goes back over time back to Vermeer actually painting the painting. I like the way it did that. I like the going back in time rather than starting at the paint, beginning of the painting and moving forward in time. Apparently quite a lot of art type novels do that. I like it. The scene descriptions were great and they felt artistic. They felt like a painter was describing them in the way that they would paint them. So that was great. First story, we start with a modern day teacher who is showing his secret Vermeer to a fellow art teacher. He will not say where he got it because he's shielding his dead father who was a Nazi. But he describes the history of Vermeer and the artistic qualities of the painting in great detail. I like this part. The story was good. I didn't feel like I liked any of the characters and I didn't find that they resonated for me like a real character would. But the scene descriptions were good and it was a good story so I enjoyed it. We then pop back to the Nazi era and the family who owned it then before it was stolen off them. Also a good story but it was a jump from the previous characters and while this story was well written and had more interesting characters I never got a chance to bond to them because the story was so very short and that's one of the things I don't like about short stories. So after that we start jumping further and further and further back and I felt that the further the stories went into the past, then the better there was they were researched and the more description went into them and I like that. The last two have an element of interconnection as they're about the artist and his daughter and it shows the actual origin of the painting from two different perspectives and I like that as well. Now about these earlier stories, while I did very much enjoy them as stories and as art stories, I was often frustrated by them because there's no dates and no ability to trace the dating or the timeline you're on. I could date the modern day story, I could date the World War II story, and that was the beginning. I could then date the very end because Vermeer is a historical character, but everything in the middle was this blur. And I don't know what did they think it didn't matter what era you were in? As someone who's interested in history, and ha since you've researched it a lot, and you're giving historical detail, well, yes, it does matter what the date is. It mattered to me, and it bothered me that I didn't get it. Outright annoying. I don't know Dutch history. I don't know that anyone knows Dutch history enough to be able to date what's happening by the floods, which seems to be the way the author was doing it and expects you to do it. There's one strange sequence where, did France ever conquer the Netherlands? I don't know. It seemed to be a dating thing, maybe. Was that what the story about that twittering, annoying French bent was all about? I don't know. A lot of I don't know in those center stories. 
So the lack of dates annoyed me. Several of the characters, which while they were adequate vehicles for their particular story, were rudimentary, impossible to bond with, but not terribly interesting. Short stories. Don't sell me short stories, claiming they're a novel. It's false advertising. It's annoying. So, yeah. Great book of art short stories, if you like that sort of thing. Just, I don't not recommend it. If you like Vermeer, you will probably like it a fair bit. Just don't go into it expecting it to be a novel, because it's really, really not a novel.